Author Mark Goodman is one of the leading authorities on global security and has worked for years in law enforcement. His understanding of digital underground and technology becomes readily apparent when reading this book. I'm constantly fascinated by technology and the seemingly endless breaking headlines and cyber breaches, so this book was right up my alley. After being the victim of multiple targeted cyber attacks against my wireless com security company and myself personally, I'm justifiably paranoid, so I could immediately relate to the many of the crimes and the hacks he vividly described. Future Crimes excels at reinforcing the need for all of us to question suspicious emails, letters, phone calls, and take careful note if we even feel we're being watched or tracked. After all, through things like spam, identity theft, and phishing attacks, we are all susceptible, with most of us victims of cybercrime, so we need to be ever vigilant. I immediately began to think twice whenever I was surfing unfamiliar websites or reading through various terms and agreements before downloading an app. Our lives revolve around the internet, and we're dependent upon it for paying bills, banking, communicating, sharing photos, and posting on social media. By painting this image, Goodman reinforces the notion that everything is connected and everyone is vulnerable. The author does not spend as much time on solutions as I would like, but by forcing all of his readers to analyze their own security needs and measures, Goodman sets readers on a path for security and peace of mind, which only come by first acknowledging the problem before beginning to dealing with it. Goodman takes the reader through very real scenarios of what is happening behind the scenes and what it could all lead to when technology we rely upon is easily manipulated. From terrorists using Google Earth and mobile phones to coordinate attacks to mind-numbing security breach after breach, Goodman details our part in this complex chain of security we all bear. Some of my favorite moments were stories of wireless biomedical devices and dangerous hacks. Back in the turn of the century, my company, Berkeley Viratronic Systems, did some groundbreaking work with Aviomed for its wireless link after their first artificial heart transplant. It's truly amazing to now see doctors monitoring patient health remotely. It is, however, equally disturbing to see how easily this data can be intercepted and even manipulated. Future Crimes relies on its title more than one would think, and perhaps more than it should. Goodman brings readers to the inevitable conclusion that cyber attacks are now the new norm, but does little shed light on fixes or prevention. Besides, the usual long and strong passwords mantra, Future Crimes offers more prognostication than prevention. It's full of what-ifs and could-bes, focusing much more on the problems than on the solutions. This sets up Goodman's argument quite well, but leaves the reader feeling a little left behind. This is also partly due to the density of the material. I read the hardcover, but went back and listened to the Audible book as well read in part by the author himself. The combination of those two packed a solid delivery for me, but I fear most readers won't have the time nor the patience to sit through two separate readings unless they're really engrossed by the material like myself. Future crimes force me to question and even adjust my thinking in several ways, which is a powerful start to any security analysis. Will it make me adjust my behavior to really shore up possible security weaknesses? Only the future will tell. I give future crimes four and a half stars out of five. Stay safe.